Good Monday evening, folks. Well, today, Newfoundland and Labrador reported three new confirmed cases of COVID-19. One of the new cases is, lo is located in Western Health and two are located in Eastern Health. One is related to travel within Canada and the other two are related to international travel. Currently, there are two people in hospital due to the virus and five active cases in Newfoundland and Labrador. So far, 263,102 tests have been administered. Additionally, Public Health is asking anyone who visited the A&W restaurant at 39 Queen Street in Stephenville on Friday, July 30th between 1.30 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. to arrange for COVID-19 testing. In other news, RCMP have located the motorcycle of missing person Joshua Kiley. RCMP have located the motorcycle of the man who was reported missing in the Gander area. Search efforts continue to locate Kiley who was reported missing in a cabin in an area west of Gander. RCMP is asking anyone with information to contact Gander RCMP. And finally, weather permitting, weather permitting rather, the Royal St. John's Regatta will take place on Wednesday. Should the weather be unsuitable on Wednesday, the event will be postponed. All city offices and facilities are closed on Regatta Day with some exceptions. Garbage and recycling collection will continue. Additionally, Robin Hood Bay will be open. Also, outdoor pools at Bannerman Park and Bowering Park are open. Splash pads will be open from 9 a.m. to dusk. Parking regulations will not be enforced on Regatta Day. Road closures and parking restrictions will be in place. Your weather forecast is up next. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet they responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. Well, it was fairly pleasant across the majority of Newfoundland today. However, as we head through the forecast for tonight, we do have some rain moving into the area. In St. John's, we, uh, we are looking at rain. We'll pick up about 3 to 7 millimeters and a low of 14. Central Newfoundland tonight, rain and fog and getting down to a low of 13. And in Corner Brook tonight, 10 to 20 millimeters of rain is expected and an overnight low of 12 degrees. The forecast now for tomorrow in the morning is going to be unsettled. We are looking at some fog and uh, potentially some shower activity as well. But conditions will clear as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures uh, 22 expected in uh, St. John's and getting up to 18 for Marystown and for Port of Ass and in Labrador tomorrow we are looking at a chance of showers for both Happy Valley, Goose Bay and Nain and rain expected for Labrador City. Taking a look now at your extended forecast, St. John's tomorrow morning going to pick up about 2 millimeters, millimeters of rain and we'll see some fog patches in the morning but conditions will clear as we head through Wednesday 24 with a chance of showers. Thursday looks uh, fairly overcast with, uh, with a few sunny breaks and a chance of showers Friday and for your Saturday. And then in central Newfoundland, a similar story tomorrow. We'll uh, see about two millimeters of rain in the morning with some fog. Conditions do clear in the afternoon. Nice weather continues for Wednesday and Thursday with a chance of showers on Friday and sun cloud returns for your Saturday. And then finally in Corner Brooks, showers and fog ending tomorrow morning, uh, getting up to a high of 20 degrees Wednesday 19 with a chance of showers. Sun and cloud on Thursday, a chance of showers on Friday. Sun and cloud returns just in time for the weekend. That's a look at your news and your forecast to now.